Hello, welcome to another training video. Today we're going to be talking about specifics of the grab and snapshot features of DevWare. As you've seen in other training videos, we have talked about how to save images offline with either the grab or the snapshot. Uh, and what we've talked about specifically is the snapshot button will only be available to those sensors that have the concept of a full resolution image versus a preview image. Most of those are going to be the SOCs. There are some sensor onlys where the any file is set up that way. And for this demonstration, I've chosen the AP1300, our uh, ICOP as it's also known, but our own, uh, Eptina's own ISP, because it has um, also demonstrates the lock function that I'll be talking about as well. So in the previous videos, what we talked about was how you could use grab to grab the current image and we simply select that and it'll pop up whatever image dis is displayed. Under this preview button it has a nice feature that you can use this to set one of the three modes of the AP1300. For example if I set it to snapshot it'll show the full resolution image and there's a 3264 by 2448 in JPEG and if I do a grab here take a little while longer but it's going to grab a full res image. Select grab again if I selected video I have the same sort of concept. You'll notice this is cut off a little bit because it is a, a 720p uh, image. But again, if I grab that image, that's what I'm going to get. So basically what the grab button is going to let you do is it's, it's going to grab what you have, again, what you have displayed. For this demonstration, what I've done also is I've disabled auto file name increment and save because I'm going to be doing a lot of grabs and snapshots. I don't really want to fill up the disk right now. But that's where you would set those as far as your options. You can use the browse button to select a another location if you want. Right now I've just selected the a, um, a file, excuse me, a folder on the, the C drive called capture and every file name that's going to be captured there would be under the name capture. I'm just going to cancel that out. And all I've selected as far as the save types is raw and bitmap for this demonstration. So the next thing to look at is snapshot page. We'll go into that in a little more detail. Um, I won't be messing around with these right now because that is more of a feature of the ICOP. But the things that we're going to uh, focus a little more on the total number of frames you want to capture if you want to average into one frame as well, which we'll play around with a little bit. Um, and uh, what most people will do is they'll go ahead and change this total frames to some other number. I'm going to select 10 here because I'm going to be demonstrating some of the features of the of the snapshot button it, itself, and I want to get a little better, um, a little show there of exactly what uh, what's going on. So we'll set that to 10. Now at this point, if I did do a uh, a snapshot, this is full res now. It's going to count up to 10. It's going to go through. It's just going to take a while because those are large images, and this is the film strip. Nice little select here. You can go through and select those. Uh, there's that last one of 10 of 10. And any one of these, um, since we do have the auto feature disabled, you could go through and save any of these images uh, directly if you wanted to. Now, we're not doing anything interesting here in the sense that it's the same images, but um, you are able to do that. And again, to get out of that, I just did snapshot again. Let's do something a little more interesting on one of these and, and talk a little more detail of what these options are. Zero shutter lag is a great feature in that it, um, what the ICOP is doing right now, the AP1300 is, it's sending uh, a stream of images with both um, the full res image, obviously, as you see here, but also through the what's being displayed is a video. Uh, image and it's going at 15 frames a second. Now I'm going to cancel this right away. You notice here, zero shutter lag, press snapshot to take, preview to cancel, I'll hit preview to cancel this. Now you notice we're at 30 frames a second here. If I go to full res by just hitting the preview button, right, I'm going to full res, you'll see we're only doing 2.4 frames a second for the display. That's not very interesting if you're trying to capture something, uh, excuse me, as far as using what zero, zero, zero shutter lag is all about. Now again, what Zero Shutter Lag is doing for you is it's doing a displaying a video. This is also kind of known in other uh, features as best pick. Now since we've selected 10 snapshots to be used, I'm let's say for example, and the, the example the um, use case of this is let's say that you're trying to your son or daughter is about ready to score a goal, 
on the soccer field, you're not sure exactly when they're going to be able to take uh, that shot, but you know it's getting close. So what you can do is you can enable this zero shutter lag best pick, select it to 10 images, and then when you hit the, the capture button, it is going to take, in this case, it's going to take the total number of frames, divide that by two, and keep the the five frames before you selected the capture button and then five frames after that. And so what that allows you to do is get a nice little window, if you will, of those 10 images and then you can go through and select which ones you which one you really wanted. Now for this demonstration I'm going to do something kind of hokey. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be moving the camera around a little bit. But it's the same sort of idea. So I'm moving this back and forth here. And now if I do snapshot here with this again with the zero shutter lag, since it's doing that video, in capturing these 10 frames, it's going to go ahead and you see um, not much movement, but a little bit of movement here as far as what the image is, image is doing. And here you can just tell kind of by the edge. But that's the idea behind that, is it'll let you select one of the, whatever you consider to be the best image. And also the zero shutter lag, you don't have the, um, the regular shutter lag between a normal snapshot. And what I mean by normal slash snapshot is let's just go ahead and set this back to one. Now if I do a snapshot, right now we're in preview, right? We're going 30 frames a second. If I hit snapshot, it has to switch to full resolution and then grab that frame. There is a little bit of shutter lag. A lot? No, not a lot, but enough. And that's what zero shutter lag gets you. Basically what DevWare is doing here and that you can't see is it has a circular buffer that it actually is storing um, all these images that are going through. And again, if I, you know, if I set this even to 20 or 30, it would capture all those. But in that buffer, that's what it's doing, that zero shutter lag. It's giving you 10 frames of buffer internally to be able to, you know, when you select snapshot, it knows exactly which one of those within that 10 that you click, you click the button on. I could, even, I could do this for one if I wanted to. And it would go off and save that one image for me. And again, that again, zero shutter lag, the concept behind that, very, very quick as far as what that does. Now another app, excuse me, option we have is snapshot over video. Now what this does is it's set up to video modes. So we're at 15 frames a second. Notice that was also what we had 15 frames a second for zero, zero shutter lag. And this is a feature that some phones, ha some phones have in that you're taking a video and you want to do a quick snapshot of a full resolution image and you can do that. And what it does in our case is it takes and opens this up into Aptina Viewer. But that's the concept there. If you're taking a video and you wanted to do an immediate snapshot of something, uh, you could do that. And here, this is a full res image. Let's go ahead and close that. And to get out of this, you can just hit preview, go to, preview to go back to uh, the preview uh, VGA size. You can uh, change the uh, delay in between uh, frames. So let's go. We're, let's do. Let's set that to. Um, uh, let's set that to 100. And let's go back to 10 frames here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, oops, sorry. I'm going to go back to um, zero shutter lag. And it's doing our 15, uh, 15 frames a second here. Displaying this. Now, when I move this now, it's going to, I should be able to capture a little bit more about what I was talking about with the, um, you know, if your son or daughter is about ready to short, you know, get that goal. So I'm going to continue to move this back and forth. You can't see that. I'm moving the sensor back and forth to get the, the range. You can see the image changing a little bit there. But with that 100 millisecond delay, um, we will get a little bit, a little more movement. If I set it to even more like 500 millisecond, half a second, um, that would also be uh, probably a little better. But again, a, little, a lot of the, a lot of the um, uh, options that you have within DevSuite to change that kind of capture. All right, let's go ahead and center this again. Now the um, the last uh, feature we have snatch, snapshot and stay locked. That's a concept on a on a, uh, a digital still camera certainly, but other cameras as well, where you do a half button press down to do a lock, which is what the lock function will do for you, and that'll actually lock that image. So if we do change, all right here I'm changing the color temps in my light box, and you notice that the color temp is not. Uh, changing at all. And I'm back to A-Light. Now if I unlock, it'll go ahead and adjust auto white balance and, and um, auto exposure will be changed. And that's what this snapshot versus snapshot and stayed lock will do for you. So let's go change this to uh, back to one here. And I'm going to do a snapshot and stay locked. Again, so the, what that is, is you do um, a half button press to, to do your lock of 
AE and AWB, and then you do the full uh, button press to capture your image. When you let go of that button but only go back to half, it'll stay locked. So at that point, use of that on a digital still camera is you can go between half and full press and still have a lock on your AE and AWB and also autofocus and take multiple images if you wanted to. And that's all that does for you. So if I say snapshot and stayed locked, it'll get that for me. I'll go here. And you notice the lock button is on. And if I, again, if I did something, you know, here, change my color temp, it would go back to being... Um, a uh, locked image and then if I did lock you'd see AWB and AE go ahead and and get uh, set back there. Um, we talked about a grab here as well. One thing you could do if you wanted to again is uh, we went to full res here. You could do a grab here of the frame. Now it was interesting there is that's that's really the same thing is if you were in preview and you just did a snapshot um, but same sort of concept again back to grab. So how those two interact. And that's the end of this demonstration.